this swamp teems with over 60 species of reptiles. The lizard. The guy I'm after has a vicious bite. If it gets hold of me, it won't let go. Lizards here can be brutes, up to nine foot long and with fearsome jaws. I've got him. That's a monitor lizard. Oh, and look at, look at these claws. Man, those are sharp. If I've got him by the tail like this, he can't pull back on me. But he can bite, he'd give a nasty bite. I want to dispatch him. And yeah, that's him. There, just make sure. And these guys, they're edible. Probably pretty tough. Edible. That's a result. The monitor lizard is way too tough to eat raw. So I'm going to find somewhere that I can make fire and cook it. All fires need three elements. Tinder, kindling and wood. This tinder takes a spark really nicely. What's going to be the hard bit I know is just getting all of this other wood just to coax into life. This jungle is bang on the equator and the humidity is debilitating. The air is laden with moisture and it's almost at saturation point. Everything here is just so, so wet and damp. You need to allow time for a little bit of flame down the bottom to dry out the rest of it. It's just there's nowhere harder to do this than in the jungle. A bit of air and a bit of gentle coaxing and this fire will soon be ready for me to cook the lizard. See how skinny it is when you lie like that. It's just all inside. But there is good meat here on the tail. tail on the fire and the skin will protect that the meat inside people often ignore the guts and the insides of these animals but the liver here is good if I just take him out and you see the bile sack there this green bit you don't want to eat that you take that off but the rest of it is good. And while I'm waiting for that tail to cook, this liver will cook really fast. And liver's really good survival food, packed full of iron. It's also really vitamin and nutrient rich. <laughs> 